is my birthday today. I am now 22 years old. I have to get ready because I'm going to my parents' house for a little family birthday party at 12. I wanted to put so much more in this video. I wanted to go get my ear pierced, go get tattoos. I have like five little tattoos that I want to go and get. I was going to do a hair gloss treatment and a bunch of stuff. I had a tattoo of my main, but then I couldn't go to it because I recently had a loss of a family member. So none of that stuff happened, but that will happen soon. So just keep an eye out for that video. We're going to be putting hair extensions in for the first time today. I've never done that. I'm going to try and put in these extensions. I just have clip-in extensions. I forget how long they are. I'll put on the screen. And then I have to style my hair after. So I think we're gonna braid this because I looked up a bunch of videos on how to install clip-ins to make them look the most natural. And most people say to braid the bottom section of your hair. I just like Dutch braided it to this side and I'm gonna wrap it around. Kinda just pin it into place. Yay! Thank you. This is what we got going on. You know, not neat, but no one's gonna see it, so it doesn't matter. I have my extensions in this thing. I'm so nervous that this isn't gonna work out. Also, way lighter than my hair, so we're gonna figure that out. I'm gonna take the four first. You guys can't even see, these go all the way to my butt, and it looks so silly with my, like, normal hair length. I think I got a seven piece extension pack and I bought these from Luxie and they are real hair and I got the like seamless ones. People that do this on like pixie cut hair are seriously like the most talented people. How do I fix this? It's like I don't know if it's gonna look good when styled. I don't think it is. I still I have like way too much hair up here. I'm gonna try and show you them. They go down to my butt, and yes, there's just, it, it looks like a mess. I really hope that styling it makes it come together, or I'm gonna look weird. I definitely could see myself getting like really sad taking these out, because this is like my dream hair length. Well, that kind of looks cool that the extensions are lighter, because it looks like I have highlights. This is gonna take me forever because I naturally already have a lot of hair and then I just added a bunch of hair But I'm really happy that I did the braiding even though it does kind of look a little weird. I can't like move around too much extensions in the sun they look better but in my bathroom lighting they look really bad yeah they still look really bad and they weren't blended all day but honestly i was just around family i fixed them later when i put a braid in my hair and you guys will see that but yeah i'm gonna get them fixed don't make fun of me i can just really see the difference but it's like i don't know if other people are gonna be able to notice the difference okay i'm gonna do my makeup really really quick because we loki should have already left um i'm not gonna do anything crazy i don't even know what i'm wearing yet i wanted to go get an outfit I low-key forgot to do that last night I remembered and we went out and it was really crowded and my social anxiety was really bad and then I didn't want to go so then we went home after I don't have time to like show all the products I'm using so they will all be linked in the description I feel like 22 is such a boring age to turn I'm gonna be honest like there's nothing the only thing I'm excited about is that I can use Taylor Swift's 22 song so my skin like isn't the greatest right now I don't know what's going on I am about to start my period so maybe that's it but I have like the worst hyperpigmentation and I had a breakout over here and it's scarred really bad the next few weeks are gonna be me working on lifting scars with my skincare routine I don't think I've ever been this pale like in my entire life and Tyler and I went to the beach the other day and I was in shorts I was looking at my legs and I was like holy crap my legs almost look green with how pale they are and like I need to go in the sun just a little bit because I look sickly 
I don't really go out and tan intentionally like to get super tan like I'll just like go out to get vitamin D because I know I need it for depression and I was looking at old pictures of myself and I used to be so freaking tan and when I was like trying to get tan I would always start tanning in February because I live in LA and it starts to get warmer in February I already had like tan lines and was brown in freaking March. I saw a TikTok of a girl talking about using a dry beauty blender is like so much better and I genuinely had never tried it because I just always knew like everyone always says like wet your beauty blender. Yeah, I tried it. I am never going back. I'm never using a wet beauty blender again. It is like the best thing ever. I swear period skin is the absolute worst because it's not even just pimples for me my skin just gets like disgusting i'll get like way more blackheads for some reason but then like dry skin builds up on top of it and then my makeup won't stick to my skin and i don't really know the reason for it is any dermatologist watching let a girl know why that happens on my period you guys are watching this probably like a day or two later but my birthday is february 19th and i am a Pisces. I'm actually the first day of Pisces. I'm on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces. I went through my little astrology phase. I am Christian, but I don't know. I think it's like interesting. I just don't really follow it that much. I definitely get all those TikToks of people talking about like Pisces and I'm like, oh my god, that's me. <laughs> my mom is really into making cakes and she always makes like everyone's birthday cake now. She's really good at it. We were looking on Pinterest and she found these mushroom cakes and I don't know why. I love mushrooms, not like in a drug way, but like mushrooms are just so pretty and I used to draw mushrooms all the time and my mom like has this like little way of like drawing mushrooms and she used to do it in school too so I did it too because I was like mm, my mom's cool I'm just like obsessed with mushrooms like I have like a little mushroom stuffed animal um if anyone were to come in my apartment and see all the stuff I have with mushrooms they'd probably think I like doing mushrooms she wanted to show me the cake so freaking bad and i was like stop no let it be a surprise my mom is bad with surprises and she always wants to tell me before but i know she made me a mushroom type of cake like an earthy looking cake and i'm so excited because i feel like i'm gonna feel like a little like fairy i know she's definitely proud of it because she facetimed me this morning after i told her no i have to wait to see it on my birthday and she called me this morning on facetime and she was like no let me show it to you it's your birthday and i'm like no just wait for me to get there so i can be surprised but i'm very excited to see it i will vlog some stuff later so you guys can see everything my friend ashley and her boyfriend are coming over as well it's just gonna be like a nice chill day i usually don't really do that much on my birthday i felt really pressured into doing something like cool like getting super hot and like going to a club and stuff because I feel like every YouTuber I feel like does that and I felt like weird for not doing that and just spending time with my family but like let's be real this is what I do every year I don't do anything for my birthday I have time with family and that's pretty much it <laughs> and I'm totally fine with that so that's what you guys are gonna get I'm not a big drinker like I probably only drank two times this year so going to clubs and bars and stuff like that just isn't my biggest cup of tea my emetophobia gets really freaked out because people at clubs and all that stuff usually are drinking and very drunk and there's a way higher chance of seeing someone throw up it's a no for me we were thinking about getting another cat and i really really want an orange kitty and i feel like bella would really mother it but we went to the adoption center that we have gotten both of our cats from and we went in and there was zero kittens and it's so conflicting because i'm so freaking happy that all of their kittens are adopted and they had like no cats and stuff in there even the older ones that were there last time and i'm like so happy but i was like no I want a kitten. So we went to another place, didn't have any luck, and I'm like, you know what, this is God telling me that we really shouldn't get another cat right now. Then it's like, more food, more poo. And then I'm scared like it wouldn't get along with our kitties. Our kitties are literally so close, they're in love. And I'm so scared if we get another one that they would just like, not get along. And the new one would just be excluded. Benetint on lips. I think I've been doing this literally since 18, and I feel like I've literally had this since 2018. Definitely expired but I really don't care. I'm gonna finish my makeup and get dressed. This is the hair. I'm just wearing baggy jeans and like an oversized t-shirt and I'm about to leave. I'm on my way to my parents' house as my boyfriend is driving crazy. This is the beautiful cake that my mother made. Look at it, appreciate it, it's gorgeous. Oh, 
So fast forward to around 7.30 that night. Oh my God, I just saw my shadow and I thought someone was behind me. <sighs> Thank you. We got home a little while ago and we are going to dinner with two of our friends. No, I mean, yeah, you guys can I'm looking at the money. <laughs> we ate dinner. Of course, I had to get some Instagram pictures. It's the next day. So after of what you guys just saw, we just went back to my apartment with my friends and we kind of just like chilled out, played Mario Kart. I have such mixed feelings. I felt so beautiful. I could not get them to blend properly. I know a lot of people, they'll go and get them professionally cut and then they'll get their ends thinned out so they blend easier, but I'm definitely not going to wear extensions enough to thin out my ends. And I really do not want to thin out my ends because I'm growing my hair out to actually be this long and I want my ends to be thick. My head was so sore. You know when you have like a tight ponytail for a really long time and your head is sore? That is what it felt like. I feel like that can't be that good because it's like putting so much tension this high up to your scalp. At dinner I did like a little braid and it really looked like my hair. I was like, oh my god. I love them, but I'm probably not gonna use them all the time. I'll probably just use them for like glow up videos to be honest. We might have a hair video coming up soon because I'm having like a dilemma with my hair color. My roots are growing in and I really like the red, but at the same time I want my natural hair color so I don't know if I should get like a dirty blonde color and then let my natural hair grow out so it perfectly blends in with it because my natural like dirty blonde. I don't know, Loki might be light brown now because like this crap is growing in so much darker than it used to. And, but I'm so conflicted because I love the red so much but I wanna grow in my natural. We'll see what I do, but whatever I do to my hair, I'm going to get my extensions colored the same thing. I made sure to get real hair. One of the stylists I go to definitely like works in extensions and stuff so I think she'll be able to do it. Thank you for all of the birthday wishes. I felt like an overwhelming amount of love and I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I don't know if you like the way I put my words together but I need you to stick with me just like some birds to feathers. But my birds to scale, 